Welcome back to the Weekly Ranking Show. My name's Cam Williams, and with the French Open done and dusted for 2022, we have some big changes in the rankings, not just the ATP and WTA rankings, but also the race of the finals. Some big changes. Let's go check with the past results, though. Only two tournaments happened over the last two weeks. The French Open, let's have a look. Starting with the women's final, of course, at the French Open, Iga Sviantec winning her second Grand Slam and second French Open, beating Coco Goff in the final, 6-1, 6-3. And Rafa Nadal winning a 14th French Open and 22nd Grand Slam. He beat Casper Ruud in the final, 6-3, 6-3, 6 love to lift the trophy for the men. Let's start with the WTA rankings for the week because we had some big changes in the top 10. Let's start at the top, Iga Sviantec. After winning the French Open, she remains on top and she has won six titles in a row and has so many points. I don't think anyone's going to go near her for at least 12 months. And coming in at number two is actually Annette Contivate going up three spots higher than last week. That is a career high for her. And that's because last year's champion, Krejcikova, lost in the first round. I lost all her points, dropping out of the top 10 completely. Also allowed Bedossa to go up to number three and Ons Jabor going up to number four, which is a career high for her. Last year's semi-finals at the French Open, Zachary, she dropped down two spots after struggling to regain those points from last year. Sabalenka goes up one spot to number six. Pushkova also goes up one spot to number seven, even though both of them didn't have the greatest of French Opens. And Jessica Bagula, after getting into the quarterfinals of the French Open, she's gone into the top 10 for the first time, three spots higher than last week, in at number eight, with Collins at number nine, and Muguruza stays at number 10 for this week. Having a look at the race to the finals now, and Iga Sviantec, she's still on top. She's so close to qualifying for the finals, and we're not even halfway through the season, so she has had a ridiculous run. Anshabor stays at number two, but Bagula, she goes up to number three, replacing Badosa, who was there last week, and Coco Goff, she's gone up seven 17 spots number four in the race to the finals after that French Open final she made last week. Badosa has been pushed down to number five, two spots lower than last time. Zachary also been pushed down to number six, two spots lower than last time. And Kazakina, she finds herself in the top eight for the first time for the WTA finals race. She's gone up eight spots higher than last week after making the semifinals of the French, pushing Collins down two spots to number eight. Keys goes down one spot to number nine. And Kudamatova, she jumps back into the top 10, four spots higher than last week, kicking out Kontivate, Bencic, and Halep from the race to the finals. Having a look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week outside of the top 10. Coco Goff, she's gone up 10 spots higher than last week to number 13 in the world, which is a career high for her after making the final of her first Grand Slam. And Trevison, after making it to the semifinals of the French Open, she's gone up to number 27 in the world, which is a career high for her, 32 spots higher than the last time we did the rankings. So both players did really well at the French Open and got rewarded in the rankings. Some players that have gone down in the rankings over the last couple of weeks. Zedinshek, last year's semi-finalist. She's dropped down to number 59 in the world, which is 34 spots lower than last week. And last year's finalist, Pavlia Chenkova. She's gone down 62 spots after losing all the points from the final that she made last year, not playing the tournament. So she's down at number 83 in the world. So a couple of players that did really well last year not being able to replicate that at this year's French Open and suffering in the rankings. Let's go have a look at the men's rankings for this week, the top 10 for this week. No real big changes to the top 10. Djokovic staying on top for now. That will change over the next few weeks, we all know. But at the moment, he stays at number one with Medvedev at number two. Zverev at number three, but Rafa Nadal, he goes back into that number four spot after winning the French Open, pushing City past last year's finalist at the French Open down to number five. Kasper Ruud, he's gone up two spots higher than last week into number six, which is a career high for him after making his first Grand Slam final. He pushes Alcaraz down to number seven, and Rublev pushes down to number eight in the world after having decent results, but not as good as Ruud. Coming in at number nine is Felix Ogier Asim. And rounding out the top 10 for this week is Berrettini, who hasn't played for a while, but he is coming back for the grass court season. Having a look at the race to the finals, and of course, Rafa Nadal, he's on top. He's won both the Australian Open and the French Open this year, so... He's on top of the race to the finals. And coming in at number two is Alcarez. He's gone up one spot, overtaking Sidzi Pass, who goes down to number three. After Alcarez made the quarterfinals of the French, Sidzi Pass failed to make the quarter, so there's a little bit of a switch there. And coming in at number four, Casper Ruud. He rockets back up into that top four for the race to the finals. After making the French Open final, gaining a lot of points. Keeping Zverev at number five, Rublev stays at number six, and Ojali Asim, he gets pushed down to number seven. Medvedev, he goes down one spot to number eight despite making the fourth round, which was a bit of a shock, I think, for most people to see him doing well at the French Open. Djokovic goes up one spot to number nine after making the quarterfinals, pushing down Taylor Fritz to number 10 for this week. Some of the players outside the top 10 that have gone up in the rankings this week, Marin Cilic, surprise semi-finalist. He's gone up to number 17 in the world, six spots higher than last week after making that semi-final, beating both Rublev and Medvedev along the way. 
And Holger Runa, he's gone up 12 spots, number 28 in the world, after making a quarterfinal of the French Open, beating Shapovalov, City Pass along the way. He's at a career high ranking as well. So a couple of guys have played very well, getting rewarded this week in the rankings. Some of the players that have gone down in the rankings this week, Sebastian Corda, he's gone down eight spots lower than last week, losing a bunch of points from the French Opens in the last couple of years, where he got a lot of points for making it deep in the tournament. He's down to 38 in the world. And Roger Federer, he's gone down three spots to number 50 in the world. Now, that doesn't seem like a big drop, but Federer is going to drop out of the rankings completely in a couple of weeks when he loses all his Wimbledon points. So we'll keep an eye on Federer. Right now, he's at 50, losing points from last year's French Open, but he's going to have no points in a couple of weeks when the rankings update and Wimbledon points disappear completely. So Federer is going to be unranked when he comes back later in the year. So there you have it, the rankings for this week. We are going to do the power rankings midweek this time. So rather than putting them together, we'll just do the rankings on Mondays and then we'll do the power rankings later in the week. So don't worry, they are coming and they are going to be different because there's going to be a lot more changes after a big tournament like the French Open. But massive changes will happen because we all know the Wimbledon points are going to drop. Could have a new world number one in uh, Medvedev again. He could be world number one in a couple of weeks. Djokovic could drop down as low as three or four. So things are going to get a bit crazy over the next few weeks. But right now, after the French Open, those are the rankings. Let me know down in the comments below who you're most shocked about in the rankings this week.